Hi, welcome back to Coco's video podcast. And as you know, I travel to Italy often to pick our foods. And olive oil, it's a controversial subject with all the lying going on because uh, companies can charge a premium saying that an olive oil is from Italy when in reality it's not, usually from Turkey or Spain and packaged in Italy, if even that. So there's a lot of money that can be made saying it's from Italy. So three out of four of the olive oils we carry, I've actually went to visit the plants themselves and the production areas. So you can feel confident that the olive oil at Coco's Italian Market is genuine and it tastes great and it's healthy and good for you and fresh. One of the companies I went to visit in Italy in the Puglia area, which Puglia is like the Garden of Eden, are three siblings, Consiglia, Marta, and Vito. A real smart, smart family. Consiglia is a psychologist and Vito is a veterinarian and Marta is very, very accomplished in her field being a uh, olive oil expert and just hugely impressed with the facility what they're doing, their integrity, and it's beautiful where they're at. They use no pesticides, it's certified organic. They are stewards of trees that are probably 750 years old. It's a huge honor for them, but also a big responsibility. This is very beautiful. It's also a part of our tours that we do to Italy. If you come to Italy and we do the Puglia region, we will stop by and uh, see the facility and we'll picnic amongst those trees and let's face it those trees were there before columbus discovered america just come visit me at italianmarket.biz slash tours and let's all go to italy together in the meantime they do a lot of the talking i'm just doing an introduction right now so let me give it to them lemon olive oil uh -huh. available on different packaging also the spray one mm -hmm. i was telling you the barocco mm -hmm. and uh, the Novello mm -hmm. and the Piana degli Ulivi. So, blend, mono variety, lemon oil. This year uh, mm -hmm. we did a, a study you. with the university and they discovered in our oil uh, 700 milli milligrams per kilo of polyphenol. The law say that 200 milligrams uh, means that the, the oil is a nutraceutical, so means it's like a medicine. Uh, because clean the blood from the cholesterol and other... So the two varieties that we have in the Salento are really, really old, uh, medieval varieties, and are Cellina di Nardò, that is uh, this kind of trees, more long, uh, and the Ogliarola di Lecce, that are the trees for us uh, are monuments, so um, we want to protect especially in this period uh, where there is a new disease. Uh, as you can see, many parts of the tree are dry. Uh, so we are trying to fight this new disease. For us uh, to be organic and to use natural things is very, very important. To protect the land, to protect the planet, and also because our soil uh, in organic, grow in organic way, um, for pollution, a kind of sponge for CO2. Our soil absorbs tons of the CO2 from the atmosphere. And only the organic soil can do this. Uh, soil with chemicals can do the same uh, work. Another important for us is that the energy of the company comes from the sun. We have a solar panel for, for the electricity. We use uh, uh, pomas that the, the pits of the olives uh, to burn and to produce uh, uh, warm in the houses. The water of the olive, the pulp of the olives, after the, um, we extract the oil, we reuse on to fertilize the soil. Now, you, after the summer, here is really hot and really dry, but in the spring or in a couple of months, here will be everything green. Look at, for example, this uh, tree in front of us. Mm -hmm. That's one tree. And uh, you can see it's a kind of separating, mm -hmm. but uh, it's a one tree. You say your great-great-grandparents? Yeah, they, they take care about the same trees yeah, for that's centuries. Am that's amazing. Mm -hmm. How old would you estimate this tree to be? So, <clears throat> minimum 500 years old. Mm -hmm. Probably more. I mentioned that uh, how delicate are the uh, olives. So, mm -hmm. Worse than an apple, you know, ferment immediately. 
So never suck. What do they do? They put the nets under the trees, they collect the olive, they load on those uh, small uh, case, and uh, you know it's plastic, so and uh, there are holes, so then uh, kind of uh, can breathe. So you harvest in the morning and then yeah. you process in, in the, the afternoon. In the afternoon, it's very very important. Uh, when you take out the olives from the trees, start the fermentation. When you arrive with smaller boxes in the meal and you put your hand in a box, you understand immediately how warm mm -hmm. is inside, so the, the fermentation. In Spain, what they do is they take care too much about the quantity. Of course, they have these industrial small trees, small like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thousand and thousand in the same hectare, so where I have 100 trees, they have thousands. They harvest in one day what I harvest in two months. So, of course, the economy is totally different. That's why I say I don't produce olive oil. I'm a guardian of olive tree and mm, this land. Last year, because um, there were in Italy a certain period that they want to cut for the disease that is uh, going uh, on. They want to um, obligate us to use chemicals. Oh. Uh, we say no, or you give me an, uh, an organic uh, product, right, product. Exactly, or nothing. Right. Uh, because my trees, they have uh, their own defense. Mm -hmm. We will help them to survive, we hope. Because also chemicals, they don't have any... Um, prove any um, evidence mm -hmm. that, uh, that they work. Worked. No. And in this segment, let me introduce you to Emmanuel. Obviously, I struck up a friendship with the family. Emmanuel is uh, Cecilia's son, and he stayed with us for several weeks in Nashville, mostly to, you know, just hang out and have a great time and to help with his English and help me with my Italian. And here he is explaining some of the features of the uh, family farm. So they start in 1983 when my grandmother inherits a con considerable piece of land full of olive trees. And my family started with business because my grandfather encouraged my grandmother to non-stop uh, the producing of oil as the family has been doing it for centuries using an underground olive press which are now a landmark of Salento, my hometown. My family olive oil is different because it's extra virgin, it's organic. We mill just the best olives that we have. So since 2003, our oils have been upread on the pages of the most prestigious guys and magazines in the world. As Slow Food, we are in guide of extra virgins since 2003 to 2015, and we won the gold medal in the Los Angeles International Extra Virgin Olive Oil Competition in 2007 and in 2008. Obviously this is a magical place and again go to Coco's Italian Market's website italianmarket.biz slash tours and let's all go visit them.